first off, thank you for talking to me, Nikki. I know it's been a very difficult time. How are you doing today? You know, it, it's I'm, I'm I'm in shock. I'm totally devastated. I know the news of Ivana's Trump, it's shocked you to your core. What has the last 24 hours been like for you? Well, you know, I've spent a lot of time looking at old pictures and sort of reminiscing through the times that we've spent together and, and just sort of, you know, trying to have the best thoughts about her and all the wonderful times that we shared together. You know, I met her the first time she went out with Donald, we double dated. And, you know, Ivana and I always had this strange thing. We always ended up wearing the same clothes. Even the first time I met her, we both had on this little Saint Laurent tie. Hers was red and mine was blue. We always had like a thing where we always ended up wearing the same clothes. And from the minute I met her, it was sort of like, it's sort of like we were like separated at birth. We had a, a, a very unique friendship and we had a friendship that was just so, from the minute I met her, we became best friends. When was the last time you were in contact with Ivana? When was the last time you saw her? I had dinner with Ivana not that long ago in New York. And Ivana, she was a true New Yorker. I would see her out all over the city at tons of galas. But the past couple of years, it was very difficult for her with the pandemic. Uh, what can you tell us about how she lived her life these past couple of years? Well, I mean, she became very reclusive. She stayed in her, she had a big townhouse. And, you know, she she really was afraid, really afraid of getting the virus. I mean, much more so than anybody that I know. She didn't want to go anywhere. She didn't want to travel. She, I said, Ivana, you know, come, come out to California. No, no, I don't want to get her on an airplane. I don't want to get on anything. I just want to be, you know, I'm just so afraid. But she took it very, very seriously. She was afraid of getting sick. But she was preparing to finally leave New York. And she yes, prepared. and I was so happy because, you know, her favorite place on earth was Saint Tropez. She had a beautiful home there right in the port. You know, she was she was a fixture in Saint Tropez. Everybody knew she was like the mayor of Saint Tropez. And she finally decided that, you know, okay, I got it. I'm going to go. She needed to get away. You know, you get, you know, you stayed in New York. She stayed in New York during that whole time and she never left at all. And and she was by herself. So it was, uh, I'm sure it was much more trying than, than I can even imagine. I said to her recently, I said, you know, is there anything that you, that you want to do that you haven't done? She said, you know, Nikki, I've been working since I'm three years old. She worked in a shoe factory in Czechoslovakia when she was three years old. She said, you know, I just want to rest. I want to just enjoy my life. So police sources said that they found her body at the bottom of her stairs. Well, I have to tell you something. That has always been my fear. She had, she had one of those really beautiful staircases that was impossible to walk down, you know, it was narrow at the, in the inside, wider as it got out. I was always afraid that she would fall. I, I, I don't know what happened. But it, it's not hard for me to believe that that's what happened. They have were treacherous stairs. Have you spoken to any of the family members? Have you spoken I to spoke her? with Eric. And he told me that, that he had received the call from Dorothy, who is Ivana's loyal assistant and friend, and that she was at the house and that they had found Ivana and that he was very close. He was, I guess he was a few blocks away. And he went over there and he was totally devastated. She lived quite the life. Um, how do you want people to remember her, Nikki? I want them to remember the one of the most fearless, loving, kind, delicious, fun woman. I mean, she was just so special. Just so, I consider it an honor to have known her and to be, could be her friend.